Since as early as history can take us back to, humans have engulfed themselves in deeply committed relationships. There used to be love at first sight, marriage at first kiss, and fornication was a matter of disgrace and fear for reasons on end. But as time went on, relationship labels increased and the desire to commit boiled down. What's caused the shift and why do so many people prefer it over what love used to be? Sianna and I have been wondering lately about just how and why relationships have become what they are now. So we set out around Philadelphia to finally get some answers. We asked several people about their opinions on relationships and dating, starting with how many relationship statuses they believe there are. Okay. Um, um... I think about like four, I guess. I mean, I say it's about uh, three broad, big ones. We got a uh, single. Single, talking. Well, uh, you know, I, that's a really vague question. We got talking. There's talking, there's dating, and then there's a committed relationship, I would say. Um, I think there are three. Like, what now? I think, uh, I think it could be infinite, really. Yeah, I think unless you're talking about social media, there is no such thing as a relationship status. There's just the status of your relationship. Yeah, uh, come. So I mean, that's, that, that's conferring boyfriend girlfriend thing right there. I guess single and then talking in a relationship. And boom, you're cut. You got really like each other for a while. Sure, y'all get married. And y'all die happily together. It's almost like money, it's not really real, but it is real, you know. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> money isn't real. <laughs> Same thing goes for time. How would you label your current relationship and why? I talked to somebody. Our current relationship? Yeah. We're friends. Yeah, I'm I'm Facebook official but in a relationship. I am not. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. This is my girlfriend. I love her a lot. I'm very lonely. Uh, it's very sad. I'm in a relationship. I've been, being, I've been seeing the same person for about two years now. Exclusive. That's the status of my relationship. Why would you label it? Because we're attracted to each other. It means that they're both showing interest for each other, maybe. Well, I think that when people are talking, it's like they're. <laughs> kind of in a relationship, but I think that when people talk, they talk to multiple people, and a relationship is more just one person, unless you're cheating on them. Right. It's, I wouldn't really call it a relationship status, because if you're just talking, you haven't really, like, done anything, you know? They both like each other, they both have interest in each other, uh, but they might not be ready to take the next step. Uh, that's kind of what but I gather. a lot of people gather. use it to mean just dating. It's come to replace that word. But I'd also like to point out that uh, last night I made a very interesting discovery. I'd always thought of talking as a newer concept. I was listening to... Uh, People have been talking for thousands of years. Like I said, it's like, it's just another word for dating somebody. Um, if you're gonna date somebody, then you're talking to somebody. If you're talking to somebody, then you're dating somebody. Um, and two, you guys both realize, oh, like, I want to be in a relationship with you, and I don't want you to talk to anybody else. Then that is like a relationship. That's your boyfriend or that's your girlfriend. Um, I don't think the term has always existed. I think like people like grown-ups, they use the term dating. Oh yes, I'm dating this person. I think that. Like people saying talking is new, but I don't think the idea of talking is new. Like they probably just said something else, like dating. So you guys have heard of talking? Have you heard of talking heavy? No, no, I can't say that. <laughs> sounds a lot more intense. <laughs> talking heavy, um, I, it's stupid. <laughs> That's what it is. That sounds physically <laughs> impossible. Yeah, I don't have no way. It's like money. <laughs> I think it's just like somebody you're steadily dating without seeing anybody else. 
I think lots of people use the, t the term cuffed, you know, just to like explain their relationship status. To be cuffed, that, that means that they are a boyfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend, I want to or girlfriend, girlfriend. It's one of those words that I don't really like. I really don't like that term because to be cuffed, it's like you have like shackles on your hands. You're getting cuffed, you're getting handcuffed. Like you're, you're tied down. You're getting arrested, you're away forever. I mean, they, they're solid, they have commitment. They, mm. You're dead, you're gonna die in prison. That's not what a relationship should be. Like that seems not a good way to think of your relationship. The term cuffed, it brings the fun out of a relationship. So that's why I don't like the term cuffed. Yeah. You know? Um, in, in Spanish, the term for, one of the two terms for wife is esposa, and esposos are handcuffs. So that concept has existed in thousands of years. Spanish forever. For a long, long time. I didn't like that. Yeah. That's interesting. La más que sabes. Everyone has something to contribute about love today, but that doesn't speak for the past. So we asked them what they think it means to be in a relationship and how their views differ from people, say, a hundred years ago. Well, I wasn't there. I was. Uh, you're fully committed to them. Love back in the 1800s was quite different than it is now. Uh, you know, if you love someone, it was your duty to marry them and then eat them. And <laughs> Uh, today, it's just not the same thing. I think it's just significantly less spousal consumption. Yeah. You're not with a bunch of people. I think that it's sort of an arbitrary thing to define a relationship because every relationship is different. And I don't just mean romantic relationships, I mean every relationship between two people. Relationships nowadays, it's just all about showing off. Like, people don't care about what the actual relationship is. Like, they don't care about actually getting know, to know somebody. They don't care about the beauty of getting to know somebody and loving somebody. Uh, to be in a relationship, I think that it means that you two are together and that it's just y'all two and nobody else. It's just all about what it looks like, not what it really is. So people just want something, oh, I want to be like them, relationship goals, but you're actually not in a true relationship. Something that I do that I shouldn't do a lot, I do a lot, is like compare my relation to somebody else's. Um, and you shouldn't do that a lot. Uh, but relationships should just be, you're in that relationship with that person because you want to be with them, not because you think it's the right thing to do, or you think that um, this guy or this girl is going to get me somewhere in life. Um, I think that before there was more like of a pressure to get in a relationship and get married. I think, I don't know, 100 years ago or 200 years ago or whatever, uh, I think people's lives are definitely much more um, influenced by like, religions. And I don't think that it's like that anymore. So people are just like talking to whoever they want and stuff like that. So. And you know, like in Catholicism, you can't get divorced. You like can't use uh, birth, birth control. Um, and I think now that like that stuff is widely available, uh, birth control, like not like divorce, I guess. Um, people are like more open to being like sexually free. Even religious people. Even religious, religious people. Yeah. Something else. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely has shifted from like controlling their whole lives to like just being a small portion that they really care about. It's a different world. People are more open to uh, explore their sexuality nowadays. So they don't, they bypass all the previous, I guess, rules and norms. People don't want to work for things anymore. Like people are so fast paced, especially with like technology nowadays. It is much easier for people who, um, anyone, it's easier for anyone to communicate via social networking and online messaging than it is to communicate in person. Communicating in person requires planning and effort. You have to dress yourself, carry, you clean yourself. You have to yeah. care enough to be there. Yeah. There's no way that you can form a physical relationship through social media. It's a good way to start up a relationship, though. Me personally, I like to actually still go on dates, but yeah, I believe in a lot of ways it has become more uh, over the internet or 
on devices. So you think that that changed relationships? Yes. They don't get to know the person as much in my mind. It's significantly more work to engage in physical uh, companionship. But on the other hand, it's better. It's just better. It's better. People aren't um, comfortable with talking to people face to face, and they usually do it, do everything, do the arguments, um, do all their love, sappiness via text or a phone call. I don't think it has become that, but I don't think that that's like the right way to do it. I guess because I don't think that you're you're not really like. I mean, you're with the person, but it's not. You're not really together when you're just texting them. Yeah, so it's, yeah. it's just, I'd say, inherently better in a number of ways. It allows people to um, better read each other. Being in person allows you to pick up on vocal cues, physical cues. It allows people to engage in physical contact, which I feel like has generally been a pretty important part of most romantic relationships in the past, for good reason. So, <laughs> it is, I'd say, somewhat detrimental to the concept of the romantic relationship to confine so much of it to the internet. Do you believe you'll get married sometime in the future? Yes, and I stay married? do. Yes, I do. I want, I can see myself getting married. Me? Yes. Get married? Yes. <laughs> I say it's a possibility in my current place, I'm not looking to marry anytime soon. New opportunities arrive all the time. Um, yes, I do think I'm not. Yeah, I could, I could see it possibly have one day. I wouldn't get married if I wouldn't stay married. I don't believe in divorce. Like, if divorce isn't, like, it's not that easy. So, it's not like you're just breaking up with them. There's so much that goes into it. So, I, if I'm getting married to someone, then it's someone that, like, I know I want to stay with forever. Lonely Yeah, I'll definitely marry myself uh, if, it, if it gets too bleak. Um, I'm gonna cuff myself. Yeah, it's just cuffed. Honestly, marriages, I think marriages are something that ruin, ruin relationships, kind of, to me. I don't think in a perfect world I would necessarily have to because I think there are a lot of flaws with the concept of marriage as it exists today. Um, not in terms of like, because you like tie down to somebody and if you, like if y'all cheat on each other then it's like a whole divorce thing. I think it's just like, America has made that such a strong point, especially in the 50s and 60s with white picket fences and having a stay at home mom taking care of the children and a husband coming home. But like, people made it such an emphasis, but now, nowadays, the divorce rate in America is like up to 69%. Like most marriages don't last three years. Um, and that just comes down for money, um, children, and other stuff. Instead of looking for a sort of sweeping generalization to make about what defines a relationship, um, it's more important to um, be able to read the signs and be able to read your partner in that relationship and to see what you guys need to be happy, because that's really the only, only goal. In the end, Marcus and I came to the conclusion that as long as technology improves, relationships of all kinds will continue to change. Less likely so if you're bound by a religion or a culture versus if you're in a free society where you're more prone to societal changes such as relationships. And it's not necessarily a bad or a good thing.